Alternative paint brushes. My name is Lily. I am a fine art graduate. I am an artist and I am a art teacher all the way from Cape Town. It's been a bit rainy, but now the sun is shining again. That's what happens if you have a mountain where you stay. So maybe all of us are all over the world and we have very different situations happening. Maybe you're at home and you love being creative. Who's that? Definitely me and I'm pretty sure all of you watching me. Hey, but maybe you have a slight little, not a problem. I don't like calling problems problems. Maybe you have a little hiccup because you want to paint but you don't have any paint brushes. What about making your own paint brushes? Mm -hmm. DIY homemade paint brushes. Have you heard of that? Or maybe you have paint brushes like me. I've got lots of paint brushes, but I actually want to be a little bit more experimental and use something entirely different. Then you've also come to the right place. So I'm going to show you guys some alternative paintbrush ideas. So what I've used is, you can see up here. Let me take one off. This, what is this guy? Can you get, I see. Yes, it's a clothing peg. Okay, you get all kinds of clothing pegs. You get plastic ones, wooden ones, all kinds of ones. I love them because they can open up, but don't do that. That's kind of sore. And you can stick things in there that's gonna help you to make your paintbrush. If you don't have clothing pegs, let's think about what we can use. You can use little sticks you, that you can find outside. You can grab any sort of longer hard cardboard that you've got. Okay, but then you need a bit of tape. Because why this guy is great, it just means you're going to stick something in there that's going to hold it. If you're using a stick or a thick cardboard, you're going to use some tape to wrap whatever you've got. We're going to get there now to make your super cool DIY homemade paintbrushes. So I've got some pegs. Okay. If you're watching me live, follow me. If you're watching me a bit later, you can also pause me and quickly go grab your clothing pegs. Okay, just don't get the washing off the line. Mom or dad might be a little bit upset. Jokes. Okay, so I've got these guys. Now, you can have fun again if you want to make it an, adve an adventure. You can go grab anything you have in your house. So ideas that I'm going to give you. Okay. I'm going to put my peg up again. I've got some string over here. I've got a baggie of goodies. I've got some cotton wool. Okay. That you can use. I've got some sponge. Okay. This is literally a cleaning sponge that I've cut up to make my brush. Okay. Other ideas, if any one of you have ideas, please let me know. This, do any of you guys know what this can be? Yes, it's a piece of a pool noodle. Maybe you've got a pool noodle lying around. You can cut a little piece from it. Okay. What about some feathers? Okay. What about some pipe cleaners? Okay. That's if you're crafty and have some crafty things like that. Maybe you've got some pieces of old fabric or felt. Okay. Maybe you've got some foil. Yes, I've got foil. Maybe you've got some pom-poms. I've got a pom-pom somewhere in here. Pom-poms. Okay. Maybe you've got some baking paper. Maybe you've got some twigs in the garden. Maybe what else can you guys think of that you can use? You can use anything. I'm thinking maybe you have some earbuds. Maybe you've got some, mom's got some cotton pads. Okay. 
you can really use anything you can find in your house. Then, what you're going to do is you are going to put it into your little peg. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now, for example, my string. I'm going to put it in my peg. So what I've done with the string is I've actually just rolled it up. Let me see if I can show you guys. I'm rolling it into a little thingy. Okay. And then I'm going to squeeze it in there to create my little painting brush. So the string there you guys can see is quite fun because we don't know what kind of texture it's going to make. So I'm going to show you guys some of mine. I've stuck them up on the wall. I've got a pom pom one. Okay, again, if you're using a stick or a thick cardboard, you're going to put it on. Okay, this is going to be a bit tricky. And then you're going to tape it around. Okay, maybe if mom has a hot glue gun, you can also use that B out of the box and use what you've got. Okay, pom pom one. I've got a foil one. I've got my sponge one. I've got a piece of fabric one. Okay. And I've got my feather one. Okay. So I'm going to stick them back. But you're thinking now we're done. No, we are not. Okay. Let's make a picture together. So you can quickly go grab, even if it's just one, one texture, one thing, whilst I'm sticking it all up again. Okay. I think I lost one. No. Okay, not on the floor. Now I'm going to show you how to use it in a fun, experimental way. Okay. With art, it's great because there's no right or wrong. It's really about having creative freedom. So I'm going to make a picture with some flowers to use the different textures of my DIY paint brushes. So I've got some paint on my paper plate, nice and bright. I'm using acrylics because it's a bit thicker. So I know that it's going to look nice, but try any sort of paint that you've got at home. Okay. So I've got my paints ready. And before I'm going to actually paint, I thought I'm going to draw a vase. So I've got my big piece of paper. Again, grab any sort of paper, cardboard that you've got at home. I'm doing a little trick of dividing my page in half from the top and making a line. So I've already drawn pencil line going all the way down. Okay. Then I'm going to go in the middle on the side and I'm going to go across. Okay, so I've made a pencil line. You're not seeing it, but look again, making a cross. So at the bottom bit, I'm going to draw a shape for a vase. Vase can be any shapes. Okay, I'm going to make a sort of half moon shape like that. Okay, you can use anything you have, crayon, pencil to make your vase if you want to. There's my shape of my vase. And then I'm actually going to draw some stems, okay. So I'm going to make some stems just like that coming out. I can add some again. Let's just do that. Okay. So what I just did there. Now we're going to use these Super cool homemade paint brushes. So now it's time for the paint. Okay. Now, if you want to first see what texture it's going to make, for example, let's take this one, my foil one, and you dip it in the paint. Okay. And you first want to see what texture it's going to make before you want to put it on your page. You can use a scrap page. Okay. Another trick if you've got thick paint on, which I do have, you can maybe pat it a little bit. Don't want to say dry, just less paint. So you can pat it on a piece of painting cloth. I've got my painting cloth here. Okay, I'm just patting it to get some of the paint off. Okay, and now 
moment revealing. I'm going to make the middle part of the flower. So I'm keeping some space. And there we go. I'm making the middle parts of the flowers. Look at that. So you can see these different textures happening. You can even add some flowers in between. Okay, so now you can see it's getting a bit dry. So I'm going to do one more. Okay, there's your first texture. Now, I'm going to use this one and I'm going to choose a different color. I'm going to choose the yellow. Okay, so this is a more soft sort of texture. And just be brave. I'm going to make little lines like that for a flower. Pat it in there. You can also have a little fabric cloth. Okay, here's my fabric cloth to wipe your paint brush. Okay, your peg brush clean and choose a different color. So I'm going to choose a blue now. Okay, and now I'm, so I've made little motions like that to get some texture. Maybe you can just stamp it. Remember, just add things anywhere you want. There we go. We're making some more patterns with this guy. I'm curious to see some of the others. Okay, let's see. I wonder what my pom pom is going to do. Let's do, oh, I've got some pink. Okay, again, if you want to pat it a bit more dry. Now you can see if you want to make little patterns around. There we go. So you can stamp or you can brush as well. Let's see what happens if we brush. There we go. I'm making little curves for the flower in there. How cool is that? Okay. So don't be scared to have fun. Be experimental. Have a little bit of crazy motions. Okay, I'm going to go on and use more paint brushes. What about, ooh, I wonder what this guy is going to do. I'm going to dip it into ooh, a darker purple. Look, ooh, where you guys can see I'm dipping it. Okay, let's see. I'm going to be brave and just go for it. So I'm going to go, ooh, these are like lines and just make something like that. Okay, I'm going to dip in. So I made motions like that now. Now I'm going to add some lines over there. So look at this, quite expressive, hey? So let's change. I definitely want to see what the feather does. Okay, the feather, I think I'm going to try and use to color in my actual vase. Let's see. Let's see what's going to happen. Um, I'm going to use the light yellow. Okay, dunk it in. Can you guys see me in the yellow? Okay. And there you can use it to paint. Wow, paint my vase. This is very expressive, but I'm definitely enjoying this. There we go, coloring it in. Okay, I'm going to choose another color and I'm going to mix the color. Why not? I'm going to use a bit of the green. Okay, let's see what happens. And I'm going to just make some lines like that for textures. Going across. This is super fun. Okay, there's my picture almost complete. I want to make a little tablecloth in the background with my last homemade alternative paintbrush. So let's use the sponge. Okay, I'm going to get the sponge there and I'm going to make a line. So that's my background for the table. So again, I'm just stamping it. Okay, cleaning it on a piece of cloth. And then I'm going to take a different color. My last color, I'm going to use some red. Now I'm going to try and paint with it. Okay, in here. 
look there again a different texture so i'm painting in there having quite a lot of fun because it's a bit different to paint brushes but look at our picture we can still make a super cool picture okay look at that there we have a very cool expressive picture made with alternative paint brushes from home i definitely want to see your pictures please post them and let me know if you've had fun or even have other ideas of alternative paint brushes i'd love to hear from all of you cool thanks everyone i'll see you all next time